Bonnie, Bonnie Willis, um, she's kind of upset because um, she, she's upset because I guess, you know, Donald Trump, they suspended this RICO charge, you know, this criminal case because they want to get through his appeal, whether or not if Fonnie Willis should be removed from prosecuting uh, Donald Trump and his co-conspirators, okay? After filing a motion to dismiss an appeal that could remove her from prosecuting the election interference case against former President Donald Trump and his allies, Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis spoke about the challenges she faces in her position. And while she did not address the case directly, Willis did address her critics at a church conference in Marietta. Here's 11 Alive's Karis Belger. Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis took the opportunity to talk about judicial equity and take shots at her critics during a speaking engagement at Turner Chapel AME Church. Willis did not talk specifically about the appeal, but she did reference former President Donald Trump and his supporters like Rudolph Giuliani, stating her goal has always been to hold everyone who breaks the law accountable, regardless of their status. She also used... What about you breaking the law, Fonnie? Or is it Fonnie or Fanny? Fonnie. What about you breaking the law? You, your goal is to hold people accountable for breaking the law. <laughs> Let's give you a clap. You hold people accountable. You, you uh, rule in justice, the rule of law, you know, whatever. you got the justice scale uh, tipping and it's balanced and fair. What about you? When that lady, uh, one of her ex-employees told you, hey, they're using uh, federal dollars unlawfully. This grant money, they're using this unlawfully. And what did you do? You fired her. You fired that lady to the whistleblower, which you, you should have protected that lady, but you, you fired her. Was that against the law? <laughs> kind of confused. <laughs> kind of, you only, you know, hold people to the law if it's, it doesn't pertain to you, right? You want to, you know, say, hey, I'm the rule of law, but don't look at me. <laughs> and you got your hand behind your back doing your dirty little deeds. Fulton County is a mess. This, this is a mess biblical metaphors, specifically citing the Old Testament of the Bible to explain not only her focus on continuing her work, but the support she's received from those in the religious community, like Bishop Ronald T. Jackson, who introduced her at the... Because the religious communities are fools. So why, why do you say that about the black church? They, they stupid. You got these old head preachers voting Democrat. And it goes all against the moral codes of your religion. Every, every, all, all the moral codes that's in the Bible that it tells you verbatim, even in the Ten Commandments, if you want to go for Old Testament or New Testament, it talks about things that Democrats champion. And you said, oh, since Donald Trump or Republicans are racist, I got, I got to take, I got to go with the devil. <laughs> that's, that's what I see. If you want to, if you really want to break down religion and like Christianity, if you, you really think about it, you think about the Bible and they, they have specific rules in the Bible of what you should not do. And Republicans, you know, you got some stern, hard Republicans and you do have some crazy extremists on, on both sides though on both sides but you know you you got some start the the very religious people straight and narrow we are we go by the bible we're very biblical and that's that's how we you know judge and make rules and make laws and govern ourselves okay that's what we do but then you got the democrats they just want to accept everything. <laughs> oh, you want to be a woman? That's fine. You want to be a man? That's fine. You want to kill babies? That's 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 okay with us as long as it's not be uh after 32 weeks, I guess. I I'm not for sure. As long as it's not full term. 
It's not a, it's not a, a human life unless it's exit the, the a womb. So it's, it's okay. <laughs> You know, it's really crazy. Sodom, sodomy and Gomorrah, really, really crazy. And I'm not, look, I'm not against gays or anything like that. But I mean, if you really want to say, hey, I want to govern myself and I use the Bible to govern myself, you should be really leaning towards the more conservative side. But no, these crazy crackpot Democrats, because Back in 1964 or 63, uh, what's his name? Martin Luther King marched and said, oh, they're going to give us uh, equality, whatever that means. We're going to just start voting Democrat. And you haven't left the plantation since? Oh, Dr. Dr. Martin Luther King said vote Democrat, and he did. So you still going to vote Democrat? Just mindlessly voting this way. Um. And you use God, God as your charge. You say God called you to uh, convict, quote unquote, Donald Trump. That's what God called you to do. Does anyone know how insane that sounds? Can anyone agree with that? This is insane. It doesn't make any sense. That what stood out to me is that God will team up a civic leader with a religious leader to fulfill his purpose. As he used the civil servant, Nehemiah, he put around him a prayer warrior, Ezra. Willis is attempting to block the Court of Appeals from hearing arguments to disqualify her from prosecuting former President Trump and his co-defendants. If her appeal is denied, the court could hear arguments in October. I'll have more on her remarks on 11 Alive News at 5. God uh, put a civic leader and a religious leader together. Okay, yeah, collaborating. But you guys, I'm telling you, this, this is the black, where the black churches fail. This is where you, you're not being open-minded. You're No, not even open-minded. Let me digress. Let me digress. I don't want to use the word open-minded. You're not using critical thinking skills <laughs> at this point. <laughs> Where's your critical thinking skills at this point? I, I just want to pull something up. Then you guys follow me. We, we talk about, okay... We we know, um, and you you guys you might vote Democrat. I don't, I don't know what you vote, but we know the the Oklahoma Supreme Court just struck down uh, the reparations for the Tulsa uh, bombing on Black Street, um, Black Wall Street. They struck, they struck that down. They said, no, we ain't, we ain't giving you shit. We ain't giving you no damn money. This is, this is Oklahoma. Just, just Oklahoma. Uh, we're not giving you no damn money. The, and these are to the black. We're not giving you no reparations. We don't care. A lot of people don't talk about they did rebuild Black Wall Street, uh, but we're not giving you reparations. Um, I don't care if you're still alive. I don't care if you lost all your family. We don't give a shit. But then the federal government, your girl, what is her name? What's your vice president name? Kamala Harris? Kamala Mamala Harris. Come, VP Harris announces $1.5 billion in Ukraine aid at the peace summit. Anything that's anti-American, they're going to give. Democrat, Democrats, uh, black Democrats, these ADAOS, you know, you got a, ADAOS, um, a, American descendants of slaves. Uh, do you guys want reparations, found FBA, foundational black Americans. You guys, you're stern hard on reparations. You, you want to get paid back for um, building a country for free. Um, and you didn't get paid, you, you know, your ancestors need payment. So you, you want reparations for your ancestors, right? 
Um, yeah, they're not going to give that to you. But you know what they're going to give that to? I mean, Every at this point, at this point, this Airbnb, we can't Airbnb. argue. We can't argue that American can give reparations to black people because they always sending money to Ukraine. You you send that money to Ukraine, and and you Negroes will still vote Democrat. That's your biggest gripe. Reason why um I was in a um talk talk um on Twitter. And they was like, can more black people vote conservative or conservatively of Republicans? And this one particular guy, he said, you're going to you're going to have to give black folks something You it, for us to, you know, switch to the other side. You got to give us something. What have the Democrats ever gave you? And, they, and he specifically talked, you got to talk about reparations. Democrats never gave you no damn reparations. They gave you uh, public housing, food stamps, uh, no daddy in the home. 75% of you don't got no damn daddies. Abortions. A bunch of free, you get a bunch of free stuff like food stamps. You, you need a place to stay. We give you subsidized housing. You better not have no Negro living in there, though. Ain't no man better, better not be in there. Or you, you, you'll you lose your food stamps. So this whole scheme employed to separate uh, Black Americans from each other, families, and you still vote for them. And they talk about reparations. They do all this reparations. This, And they spend a lot of money on reparations research, but they haven't gave you a goddamn dime. Not one red cent. You see what Gavin Newsom did in uh, California? They came up with a number and he was like, hey, oh, well, well, you know, uh, you know, we're going to revisit that in 2027. Because <laughs> he not, they're not giving you reparations. So why wouldn't you vote for somebody that is uh, leading the charge for the American dream to take away power from the government so you can have more money in your pocket to have jobs in the economy grow so your kids can get good paying jobs to reorganize or dismantle the school system because we got stupid ass kids that can't read. And I'm not just only talking about black folks. We got white folks. They can't read. A lot of a lot of white folks, they have they struggle with addiction. It's not only in a black community, it's in a white community too. But we're still voting Democrat. Oh, it's okay. We're going to give you a universal uh, base health plan, a universal income, uh, income plan. So you further depend on the damn government. So when they say you need to jump, you got to ask them how high. That that's that's all I got to say about that. I'm not going to I'm not going to preach. I, you know, I, 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 I can't. There's nothing more I could tell 